Time is money, and that's one reason many drivers pay to travel on toll roads in the greater Houston area. But if you're not watching your statements, you may not realize that rates are rising and they're going up much faster on some roads than others. This morning, investigative reporter Amy Davis is checking out why some drivers say is highway robbery. It is true. No one has to use a toll road to get from point A to point B, but drivers who have grown accustomed to it were shocked to see how much more their routine commute was costing them every week in 2022. Five days a week, Kimberly Lundgren travels 30 miles round trip from her home in Rocheron to her job in Southwest Houston. When the 288 Expressway opened in November 2020, she quickly realized paying a little money to use it made for a much quicker commute. It saves me about 10, 15 minutes. But what she saved in time, she quickly lost in cash when rates shot way up. Take a look. The same six tolls on the 288 Expressway in 2021 cost Kimberly $6.20 going to and from work. Beginning January 1st, 2022, the same tolls cost her $9.00. 78 cents. Five days a week, four weeks a month, Kimberly was looking at paying $195.60 compared to $124 in 2021. Oh my gosh, what happened? We got a lot of feedback from citizens, a lot of them concerned. Brazoria County Engineer Matt Hank says a lot of people were upset, and the county had to explain it only manages the five mile section of the 288 Expressway inside Brazoria County. The section inside Harris County County is owned by TxDOT, who contracted with a private company called Blue Ridge Transportation Group to manage the 10-mile stretch. Traveling the entire 10 miles during rush hour in November 2020 would have cost you $5.10. Today, driving that same route during the peak time, it is 86% more at 11.51. I don't really feel that the, the price increase was fair. And neither did the Brazoria County Toll Road Authority that only raised rates once since the road opened by 85 cents. We had to really think, are we being, is this the right thing to do? Is it the fair thing to do? You know, put all those things into uh, into account. We checked every toll road in the greater Houston area. TxDOT, that manages most of the Grand Parkway, raised tolls to the maximum allowed, a 6% increase from last year to this year. It means drivers who paid on average 21 to 23 cents a mile last year are paying 23 to 24 cents a mile this year. We asked Blue Ridge Transportation Group why it raised rates so sharply in less than two years. A spokesperson emailed, rates are reviewed monthly per our agreement with the state and there were frequent rate adjustments to accommodate the traffic in the new corridor. Seven increases since November 2020. But Hank says drivers shouldn't expect another one soon. The good news is we do believe the toll rate increases in the Harris County section will slow down moving forward. TxDOT put a cap on tolls, not allowing Blue Ridge to charge more than $1.06 per mile. They are now at that maximum allowed rate, by far the most expensive toll road in our area. On click2houston.com, you can see all of the rates for toll roads in the greater Houston area. I'm Amy Davis, KPRC 2 News. The Harris County Toll Road Authority that manages the Sam Houston Tollway, the Hardy Toll Road, the West Park Tollway, the Tomball Tollway, and the Fort Bend Extension says they haven't had a toll increase since September of 2015, and they don't plan on having one this year.